Hi everyone, this is Suman from Decode now. Welcome to this video where we will be sending mail along with attachments using our Java Spring Boot applications. So for that, let's download the Spring Starter project from our Spring Initializer tool. For the project, I will select that as Maven, language is Java and the Spring Boot version I am using is 3.1.3. I will change the group name to Decode now and the artifact name I will change it to mail with attachment uh, packaging is jar and version of java version i've used it as 20 and we need one dependency that is java mail center so center, yeah so this is all the dependency that we need for this uh, project let me just generate the zip file it's downloaded let me extract it. It successfully, uh, you know, extracted. We have one more video in our channel where we send mail without any attachments. If you want to check it out, please do watch this suggested video on the top end of your screen. If not, let's continue with this video. Let me open this in my IntelliJ. So, this is our mail with attachment application. Let me check in the bomb.xml whether I have the Spring Boot Starter mail. Yes, I have the uh, mail dependency. So the next step would be to add uh, some configurations in the application.properties file. So let me open resources and go into this application.properties file. And the first configuration that I would like to add is spring.mail.host. So uh, this is telling what's uh, what's the host name. So for, since I'm using Gmail for this particular video, it would be SMTP, which is simple mail transfer protocol dot gmail dot com. So this would be my host name. And the next uh, configuration property would be string dot mail dot port. Under which port do we want to you know uh, send this mail under? So that would be 587 and the next property is username uh, that is spring.main.username. So this is basically uh, from which mail id do you want to uh, send the mail to. So that for me would be connect with the code at gmail.com. So you can use your own uh, email ID here uh, that you want to send the mail from. And the next property is spring.mail.password. So this is the password that is required you know, for the authentication. The dependency that we downloaded the Java you know, mail sender will uh, authenticate this particular account using our password. So whatever the value we add here will be used for authentication. We will add that value in a second. Let me add the next uh, property. Spring dot mail dot properties dot mail dot SMTP dot auth. So this has to be kept true. So Another property is similar to this, it says spring dot main dot properties dot main dot SMTP dot start TLS dot enable and this property also has to be set to true. So these are these are the configuration properties that we need to set in our application dot properties file, and uh, I'll tell you how to get this uh, password for our Gmail account. Let me come to my Gmail account. Open the uh, Gmail account from which you want to send the mail to. 
and then in the, in the left side you can see something called security and in the security if you scroll down there is two step verification enable this two step verification and then inside if we go uh, it asks for the password let me provide the password Once you enter this two-step verification page, if you scroll down, at the bottom, we have something called app passwords. So just go inside that. And here, select an app. Just say custom, give your custom name. I'm going to say demo name. And click on generate. So this generates the uh, password. Just copy it and paste it in this password property value. So this is basically how you generate password for your mail. So username is basically my account, uh, you know, Gmail ID, which is connected with the code at gmail.com. And password is the value that we generated now. After setting all our configurations, the next step is to uh, write a service case. So let me open here and create a Java class and call it as mail service. I'll mark this service class at service annotation. And inside this service class, I'm going to auto wear uh, two things. The first uh, thing I'm going to auto wear is the uh, Java mail sender uh, class. So I'll just say Java mail sender and give it the name as mail sender. And the second thing I want to auto wear is uh, mail properties. So I'll just tell you in a second why I'm taking this, why I'm auto wearing this mail uh, properties. This is this mail properties I'll be using in the method to get this username. So in the in the method we have to set from which account we have to set the data, right? So for that I'll be using this mail properties. We'll see that in a second. Let me just create a void method saying uh, with attachment. And this is going to accept few parameters. First, I would accept a two like to which email that you, you want to send to and another property for body and another property to set the subject and one more property to say uh, the location of the attachment I would name it as file form. And inside this uh, mail with attachment uh, method, I would create a new my message. So my message, I'll give the name as my message itself. And say the mail sender dot create my message. Now I will also use my message helper to set few properties, I'll name, this, name it as helper itself and I would say new my message helper of pass in the my message and uh, the property that I'm going to set is multi-part, I'll set this to that this particular my message is a multi-part uh, message and we will add an exception to our method signature so here I'm throwing this messaging uh, exception now I will set the values for the, my helper. So I would say helper dot set subject. Subject is a subject here, which we are receiving here in the method parameters. And then helper dot set from. This from value will get by using this mail properties. So I will say mail properties dot get username. So the username was this connect with decoded gmail.com that we had set. So using this mail properties, I'm getting that username and, and setting it as set from. 
next i would say helper dot set text that would be my body which i have in the method parameters and the last thing we have to set is the to be name so for that i would say helper dot set to and that would be my to in the method parameters so now uh, this is exactly what we had done in the earlier video that is setting the subject the username the body and the to the new thing that we are doing here is setting the uh, attachment so for that i will use something called file system resource and give it the name as file and i would say new file system resource of new file log and i will pass the file path so basically this is trying to get the file this file system resource is helping us to get this file from this uh, file path so we'll have to mention the file path that is present in our uh, local system and then i'll add this attachment also to our helper so i'll say helper dot add attachment file dot get file name and also we have to pass the file so while adding the attachment we have to pass the file name as well as the file so now our uh, main message is ready for adding the attachment let's just say main sender dot send the main message so for our confirmation i'll just add a system dot out print and then saying that the uh, mail was sent successfully mail was sent So yes, our service class is now ready. We uh, auto add uh, Java mail sender and mail properties, and then we created a method with which accepts parameters like to which email we want to send to the body, the subject, and the file path. And then we created a main message and set the multi part as true with the help of main message helper. And we set the subject the from address by using this mail properties and the text that is the body and the to which email we want to send to and also we added the attachment by using file system resource and finally we sent the mail so in order to trigger this let me trigger this from my uh, main application for that i have to open main the attachment and here i will simply auto mail The service class, which is mail service, and give it the name as mail service itself, and I will create a public method which returns nothing. Call trigger mail, and it accepts no parameters. And inside, I will just call mail service dot mail this attachment. And the things I have to pass is the two email. I just pass in the same email. So next with before at gmail.com. And the next thing that I would pass is the body. I would just say this is body. And next thing. I have, I have to pass it the subject, so um, the subject would be demo main with attachment, and the final thing is the file path. So for me, the file path looks something like this. Uh, so this this is just the local uh, file, uh, not directory path. 
uh, where I'm where I'm just trying to send this txt file. So this is all I need. There is an error. It says add exception to the method signature. So we throw this uh, messaging exception here also. So the same thing we are doing it here. And let me just add add event listener and inside I pass application ready event dot class. Yeah. So now I'm just triggering the mail or uh, this mail uh, service class from my main application. Let me just run my main class. So on the console. I can see mail send uh, exception. It says that uh, there is an issue with this uh, start TLS command. So that would be with respect to uh, the application or properties. So yeah. So here, if you see, there is an there is no you know a thing error uh, here. So it should have been properties dot mail dot smpp dot start tls dot enable. So I fix that. Hopefully it should run now. Let me rerun the application. And if you see, uh, I got the message mail was sent successfully. Let me check in the mail whether that was the case. Let me refresh. And I have received a mail saying uh, this body um, and you know and the subject is demo mail with attachment and I have received the attachment. So so this is how you send mail from Java Spring Boot application along with attachment. So if you have learned something new, please do subscribe to our channel and support us. If you have any questions, suggestions, or requests, please do let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video. See you in the next one.